Hey everyone, Alice here with your weekly reading for July 25th to the 31st. Uh, so this will be the last reading for this month. It's kind of nice how it ends like that with um, the 31st on a Sunday like that. Uh, too bad this week the energy is kind of... Mm, I mean, you should be fine. It's just... Just be aware of a few things and yeah let's talk about that let's just talk about um the energy that's going on this week so be wary of people that are in low vibration and i mean i know that gets tossed out a lot and it's like what does that mean what does that mean I mean, I feel like we all like innately know that, you know, when you're around people that are just always bringing down the mood, um, you know, they're always being really pessimistic, they're hating on everything, they're always complaining about things, um, they're just, you know, they, they walk into the room and you just feel the mood, the vibe just drop. And like, it has, you know, I mean, yes, it's them, but it's, they can't really help it sometimes you know people are just in a funk and people just you know they they have problems with themselves you know they have issues and they're not feeling very you know good about themselves here and i'm not saying that they're bad people um but it would probably be in your best interest this week to try to avoid them because the energy this week is pretty ripe for those people to feel jealous and and petty especially the quiet ones like the quiet ones like this is a week for haters gonna hate like honestly um because the reason why you know this energy is coming up because people you know in these low vibration energies are just feeling very insecure of themselves and they're resenting the people around them who are doing the things that you know they don't feel confident enough to do themselves uh it can be like anything like anything stupid like you know maybe you're driving a nice car and they think their car shit and they're just gonna take it out on you because you have a nice car i mean it's, I mean, you know, shit happens in your life and it doesn't mean that, oh, well, why don't they just get a nice car? Obviously, it's not that easy, but, you know, it takes time and effort and just these people are just going to be feeling kind of down about it and it's going to come out in like really passive aggressive ways. Um, you know, even like the, the car example, I mean, maybe you might come out of wherever you, you know you parked your car somewhere and you went inside you had i don't know you went to have dinner somewhere and you come outside and you, you your your car has been keyed and you're like what the fuck I'm like yeah that's what's going to be happening you know if you know, like these people around you because they can't deal with themselves and they're just taking it out on other people it's not really a great energy um to be honest so and even the new moon um on thursday it's not enough to kind of heal these bad vibes here um they just may just want to do things just because they want to see you suffer here and not really care what happens you know not really care if people don't like them or whatever i mean it's pretty bad here um so i would say I mean, avoid these type of peoples in general, but really this week, um, try to avoid them so you don't just get sucked into their drama because they're going to figure a way to kind of bring you down to their level. Um, and you may even find like this weekend, if you're hanging around these types of people, you know, these are the type of people that are just going to ruin it for everyone. Like, let's say you're at a bar or something, you know, these are the type of people are going to get loud and rowdy and, you know, the whole place is just going to get shut down because, you know, they can't, they can't handle that maybe some people are having a good time and they just want to like ruin people's nights, you know, rain on their parade type of bullshit. Um, so the energy is there for that. So be wary of that. Um, and try not to be one of those low vibrational people. Like, you know, try to 
if you're feeling bummed out or if you're feeling kind of like low, like try to find some things to, you know, get your vibration up so you don't get into this hating energy um, that's around you because you can just fall right into it. Um, Thursday, Jupiter is going into retrograde until like November 23rd, I think, sometime late November. Um, so what does that mean? Well, it's kind of, you know, during this time, I feel you may, or we, I guess, because I'm included in this, <laughs> maybe looking at situations more realistically, uh, less idealistically, and maybe reevaluating uh, where we are now in our lives, you know, taking a step back, gaining some perspective, and trying to figure out, you know, are we going down the right path? Is this the path that I wanted to go on? Um, and if not, you know, maybe, maybe we need to do some course correction. Maybe we need to fix some things here because, you know, you just have this feeling that, you know, it's not just going to fall into your lap. You know, you're going to have to do something. You're going to have to fix it yourself here. And, you know, that's just kind of the energy that's there with, uh, Jupiter in retrograde. Um, yeah. So, that is for this week. <laughs> Lovely week. It is. I mean, you should be fine. Just avoid, just avoid the haters, basically. I know, easier said than done, but, like, try, like, even if someone, like, says something to you, like, just don't get provoked, I guess, by them. You know, try not to. Okay? Um, for this reading, for this week, I, usually I kind of, quote, ask what I should be doing. Um, usually it's just an energy check, but, uh, it's going to be more about you. I feel less about, I mean, the people around you will be involved. Uh, we'll just check and see, you know, where things are heading for you in general this week. Um, you know, what, what's going on right now and all that. Um, we'll be asking a yes or no question. So have a question in mind that you want an answer to and we'll answer that for you as best as I can. <laughs> I don't know. I don't normally do yes or no questions, but it came out and it's like, ask a yes or no question. I'm like, okay, well, I'm not going to just do one whole reading on yes or no questions. So, um, and then it just kept coming out, um, you know, general reading, you know, what, what, what's in store next kind of thing. I'm like, okay, fine. Um, so that's what we're going to do here. Uh, so technically this reading is timeless. So whenever you find it is when you're meant to find it, there may be a message in here for you. Uh, even though it's for the week, you know, there just might be something in here. It doesn't matter when you watch this, just keep in mind that this is a general reading. So not everything is going to apply to your situation. Just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't try to force it. Um, if it doesn't make sense, but you feel it, you know, maybe it's future influence. Um, I mean, you keep it in mind. Um, like if it feels completely off, then just like, just leave it. I mean, that happens sometimes with me. Just, just leave it. I mean, it's a general reading. It's not a personal reading. Uh, you can always check out your sun, moon, rising, or Venus signs, or really any sign that you feel drawn to, as I've said many times. I'm not an astrologer, so I just use the signs uh, as just a way to kind of split up the energy for me. And it's, I guess, easier for you to find your readings, I guess. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's the best way I can explain it. Um, if you enjoy any of these readings or you find them entertaining or useful in any way, I'd appreciate it if you could like and or subscribe or share these readings as that helps me do more with the channel. Uh, currently, I'm trying to get to 500 subs so I can get a community tab. I feel that would be good <laughs> and I could use it. I don't know why YouTube just doesn't give it to you, but it's just the way it is. So I greatly appreciate any um, subs and likes. Okay, so let's get started. All right, Gemini, let's see what's going on for you this week. What are the incoming energies like for you this week? What does spirit want to talk about? Kind of giving free range here for this week. Let's 
see what incoming energies are coming for you. Okay, I have no idea what that was. It just flashed before me. I didn't even see it. <laughs> okay. Uh, Queen of Wands. Two of Swords. And the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Your overall energy here, we have the Nine of Cups in reverse. Hmm. I feel overall this, I mean, this is your energy and the energy around you. It's like you're not fully satisfied with what you have right now. You know, you're, you have things and it's fine, but it's like it could be better. Two of Wands. Um, yeah, it's like there's greater potential here and you just know it could be better. That's the thing. Like the potential is here for it to be better, whatever this is, but it's like, yeah, the, your energy, the overall energy here is it could be better because you know it could be better. You see that it could be better. Okay. Uh, let's see, what's been going on in the recent past here? Queen of Wands, Two of Swords, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like you've been at a crossroads here. And, hmm. It almost feels like... So you've been at a crossroads and you haven't really been sure. Well, I shouldn't say sure. I feel like you know what you want to do here. Um, but it's like you're unable to. You're unable to see the path here to take. You know, you. it almost feels like you're conflicted here. Um, and it looks as though like... It almost feels like you can't move forward, so you're you're there, you're at a crossroads, and you see what, you know, each path you could take, but you can't see it. Like, you can't actually do anything here. I almost feel like, it's almost a feeling like your hands are tied. It just feels like you can't do anything here, and you're just kind of hiding your impatience about the whole thing here. You know, on the outside, people see you, they see that, you know, they think that you're fine, that you're fine with everything, you're fine with the situation, but really, it's kind of grinding on you a little bit how slow things are. It's like, wow, am I wasting my time here? Like, just standing here? It's almost like, you know, waiting at a traffic light. That's what it feels like. It's like waiting at a traffic light, the light's red, and... You know, everybody around you, like, you know, people are walking by on the crossroad and, and like you're smiling, you're nodding and you're waving like, hi, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like inside, you're just like, oh my God, how long have I been at this light for? Like this light is taking fucking forever. That's, that's how you're feeling underneath. That's, that's all I'm getting from this energy. It's like sitting at a fucking <laughs> traffic light. And you're just waiting for it to turn green. It hasn't turned green. And you're just you're just kind of smiling and pretending. That's what I mean. This energy of like, you're fine with waiting. But you're like, oh my god, it would be so much better if we could just go. Because you know, it would be so much better. Okay, what's going on right now? In the current situation, Seven of Cups in reverse. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Swords in reverse. Um, you may be feeling that I get unfair, that it's unfair here um that you have to sit at this stoplight here um again like i feel like there's so many things that you could do like you know that you know because you know like it's almost like again let's go to back to the stoplight because we'll, we'll talk about that so you're sitting at the stoplight and 
it's like you know how long these stoplights usually last for like this hasn't this isn't the first time you've been to this cross section here you know how long the light usually lasts for and you're like thinking like maybe i should have taken a detour here maybe i should have taken a different path here because it's not fair that i have to sit at this light like i know how long these lights usually last and it's like why do i have to sit at this light that's what it feels like i I don't really know how else to explain it. <laughs> I'll get some clarifying, but I'm just kind of telling you what, what I feel and what I see here. Okay, where is this going? If we continue on this path, where is this going in the near future? Seven of Swords in reverse. High Priestess in reverse. And the Prince Knight of Pentacles in reverse. <laughs> Uh, it's not going fast. It's not going fast. I do feel like something is going to be revealed, though. You might even be revealing something here. Because the High Priestess here, to me, is like somebody who knows, but is pretending not to know. And I feel like that's you. I feel like you are... If somebody asks you, like, hey, how long have you been sitting at this light? You're like, oh, not very long. <laughs> Even though you've been sitting there for fucking ever. Uh, but you're like, I can't, I can't say that. I can't say how long I've actually been here. How long I've been aware of everything here. Because I feel like there's something. I don't know what the situation is. But whatever the situation is, you've been aware about it. You're like, you've been aware of it for a while now. And it's like... That's what I mean. This Two of Swords just feels like you can't say anything. It's almost like... It's not even like like you could, but it's almost like, well, if I say... It doesn't matter if I say anything. Because if I say anything, they're not going to believe me anyways. It's, it's, it's like that type of energy. Um, I guess I'm not psychic. Like, that's not what's going on here. I'm just trying to explain the energy. And it just feels like I can't say anything because even if I did it wouldn't make a difference here. It's almost like you just you just have to wait for things to play out. That's that seven of pentacles, you know, that divine timing. Like you just have to wait for things to play out. It's like you could say something, you could do things here, but it, w it really wouldn't matter whether you did or not. And that's the thing here. So it seems in the near future, yeah, you're keeping your lips sealed here. You know, you're you're not saying anything, um, but you know what's going on. Like, you're very aware of the things that are happening here. You're aware how long this light is taking, and you're aware how long this light shouldn't be taking, but has been taking longer than it should be here. Um, I do feel like you want to, you want to be more honest here. You definitely want to choose to be more honest here, but... You know you're being careful here you know you're the, the the knight of pentacles in reverse you're not doing anything here um you're taking the the safe route here um you're being extra cautious here uh because you know what it, it like i said it just feels like the energy of it doesn't matter if you said anything it's like you know you have to wait it's just unfair that you know more about the situation, but you can't really do anything about it. Okay, let's get some clarify clarifiers here. Let's see more about whatever the situation is that you're waiting on. Let's. I would like to know a little more about this because you do feel like it could be so much better, right? Than it is. But you can't say anything. That's the thing. It's like, if I could say things, and if you could believe me, it would be so much better. But I can't say anything. I can't do anything. So what's, what is the situation? Yep. So we have the Five of Wands. We have the Ace of Cups in reverse. Ah, and the other Three of Swords. Ah, it's always got to be about love and feelings, huh? No, it doesn't always have to be. But this case um it is <laughs> what you're what you're sitting around waiting around for is basically a connection here um there is a new connection that hasn't arrived yet it's there in the energy but it hasn't arrived yet 
And it's conflicting because it's like it hurts for you to know that it could be something more. I, you know, I feel like this could be somebody who you know, who like, you know, you haven't quite mm, taken that leap to the sort of the next level here in the connection. You know, you know the potential here. You see the potential. This could be amazing or whatever it is, you know, the nine of cups here. This could be everything that you've ever wanted, everything they've ever wanted. But it's like you can't say anything because you just have to wait. That's what I feel. It's like you just have to wait for it. And it causes you a lot of conflict here. Okay. Well, tell me. Tell me about this six of pentacles in reverse. The unfairness of it all. The imbalance that's going on here. Because there are two people here, so like, you know. What's going on with the other side? Uh, okay, hold on. I can see. I can see what it is. I think I understand. So we have, yeah, justice. Ten of Swords in reverse, Nine of Swords in reverse. I think you understand as well. Um, there is some pain here that needs to end. That needs to be released. That needs to be let go of here. I don't think it's your pain. I think it's whatever this other energy here, this other person, we'll say, because it probably is a person here. Um, they have some pain that they need to let go of. They need to deal with here. And, you know, you just know. You know that they have to do this. Uh, yeah, I'm beginning to see what's going on here. It's kind of like, you know, when it's like you want to be with somebody, um, but you know they have to deal with some things first in their life. And as much as you want to say things and be with them and say, like, you want to, like, tell them how you feel and everything, you know you can't. Because, you know, it wouldn't matter what you said. They still have shit that they need to deal with. And, you know, that you just have to wait. You know, divine timing. You just gotta wait when, until they're ready. You know, you can't rush people. Um, okay. Let's see here. Let's see the Seven of Swords here. What do you want to be honest about? The honesty here. Ah, yeah. Oh, you got a crush. You got a crush. Your feelings. Page of Cups, Three of Cups in Reverse. Yeah, a secret crush. The High Priestess here. Uh, it's like you don't want to be friends. It's like, I don't want to be friends. I want to be more than friends. But it's a secret. I can't tell you that I want to be more than friends. Oh, Gemini. Let's see, High Priestess in Reverse. So I do feel you want to you want to say it. You want to be open and honest about it. Um, yeah, you have to hold it in strength, the fool, and yeah, the ace of swords, and again the two of uh, swords. Um, yeah, you, twos, twos here. It's like you know, you know you could take a leap of faith here, right? But you can't. You have to hold back here. You have to hold back because you know, you know you have to wait. That, that's the Ace of Swords. You know the truth. You know what's going on here. I mean, I don't know how many times I can keep saying it because it just keeps coming up here. But we'll just, we'll just check this uh, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This is you holding back. This is you being extra cautious here. Feeling like you can't do anything. I swear, I think I saw the fucking Knight of Pentacles in reverse again. Uh, the Devil. The Knight of Cups. 
And the Knight of Swords. Oh, look, I told you. I told you it was here. I'm like, I saw him. This is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Knight of Pentacles crossed by Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, all you want to do here, I feel, with the Knight, the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Swords. See how they just rushing, rushing, rushing the Knight of Cups. His goal is to go after love, to express how he feels. Uh, the Knight of Swords, his goal is the truth. He wants to go forth and say his truth. So you want to, you just want to go forward and say how you truly feel to this person, but you're being held back here with the devil. There is fear here. Um, the devil energy here can whisper in your ear and, you know, plant negative thoughts there telling you, you know, fear, fear of rejection, um, fear that it's all going to blow up. You know, I do feel that there is a little bit of extra cautionary here, um, I'm not going to lie, there is a little bit of an um, extra bit of caution here. But, you know, it's probably because you really like this person. You know, you wouldn't be that careful and you wouldn't have that much fear if you didn't really like this person. But you're waiting for that green light, I feel. Like, I feel like you're talking to this person and everything's fine. You know, like, you're friends with them, but you're just waiting for that green light. All right, let's see what else Spirit wants to tell you, Gemini. Okay, what else? Spirit want you to know... And then we'll get to your question, your yes or no question. So think about it now. What do you want to know? The world, Hierophant in reverse, Magician, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, that's nice. Oh, see, really nice. Okay. Yeah, there is forward movement. Forward movement is happening here. It will. I mean, this is spirit going overall energy is yes, forward movement is happening here. After things have been at a standstill for some time, we will go, doo -doo 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 -doo. we will move forward. Things are going to move forward. <laughs> uh, the Hierophant <laughs> hit her first. I almost feel like you might actually break the rules here. I feel like you might break tradition here and, you know, because you want some... You, you want to give to this connection. It almost feels like you, at some point you might wait and wait and wait and wait. And you're like, wait, you know, let's go back to the red light. You're sitting, you're waiting at the red light and you're waiting for it to become green. And it almost feels like, you know, this is ridiculous. There's nobody around. There's no traffic here. I don't see any traffic. I don't see any obstacles in my way. And you just kind of gun it. That's what it feels like, breaking the rules. You're just gonna you're just gonna break the law. You're gonna break the law because you're like, well, there's nobody around. So um yeah, it does feel like that. After a while, I feel like you're gonna get sick of this waiting energy and just pff, move forward. And the thing is it it will close the cycle here. And that's not a bad thing. Um this actually um might be good here. Cause I feel that breaking the rules here accomplishes something for you it you know it gets you out of this feeling stuck you know the eight of cups is somebody who feels like like your your feelings are holding you back like your emotions are holding you back here and just feeling like you can't move forward and whatever that is you know move forward towards your nine of cups and that's you know what you want you know it could be better, right? That's the overall energy. You know it could be better. It's fine, but you know it could be better. So there's a completion here because, oh yeah, somebody's the magician in reverse. Somebody's not playing by the rules, but it's because it's like you want this union. Wanting this union almost is like you're just throwing, you're just throwing the rules out the window here. 
I don't know if this is a good thing or not. It's not telling me really, you know, what will happen. I think that has a lot to do with free will, a lot to do with how your person reacts. This person in the situation here, because like all I'm getting here is that eventually you probably are going to move forward and you probably are going to break the rules here. And that is going to help you at the very least feel unstuck, not feel like a prisoner of your feelings because you'll at least get those out right because you're just tired of not doing anything in this connection i have no idea if that's good or not okay so let's see your yes or no question maybe your yes or no question will get you more answers <laughs> it's possible um yeah it's possible all right think of your question and We'll see what spirit wants to tell you. Yes or no. Seven of spades. King of clubs. Hmm, six of clubs. Well, this is a no. I'm going to tell you that first. Um, right? Yeah. Sorry, I should have used a deck that actually had colors because reds are yes and I'm like black is no and my clubs are black, right? Yes, clubs are black, Alice. Uh, <laughs> so, okay, yeah, it's a no here. Um, the energies, there is a person here, this king of clubs. This is somebody who you trust, somebody who um, is probably quite either social or they work really hard. They could be like a workaholic, um, somebody who you can rely on, somebody who is like pretty, um, they're pretty fun to hang out with. You might hang out with them. They are pretty good at business and things like that. Um, they could be a, a professor or like a, a teacher or a tutor, or they could own their own business here. They could be your boss or you could work with them here. Um, they could be somebody who's like a professional athlete even <laughs> here. Uh, their energy. So I don't really know why it's a no. It's just, this is just the additional information here in the energy here. Um, there is somebody here who may be frustrated. Here, this person is frustrated. Um, you may have had a falling out with this person here. Uh, that could be why it's a no. Um... This person is just unhappy. So I don't know why they're unhappy. Whoever this is, whoever this king of clubs is, this is an unhappy person who does want to move on. I think they are trying to move on. Um, but... Yeah, I this person might be partying a little too much or like having a little too much fun. They might be using substance abuse here, possibly here. But I feel like they want, either they want to or you would like this person to take more responsibility um, for their actions here. I don't know. It's weird. There's a lot of other energies there, you know, this could be somebody who you had a falling out from that you trusted and you need advice from and you need advice from them now. Maybe you need financial advice from them. Probably not, but you know, I don't know, some sort of, you just need to talk to this person, but you can't talk to them because they are kind of mad at you or they're sad about your connection or lack of connection here. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's just additional information to your answer. Okay, Gemini. All right, um, that's your reading <laughs> for this week, Gemini. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, good luck. Take care. I will have the monthly readings up soon. And um, yeah, I will talk to you later. Bye.